what did you believe that you want the democratic? Uh, so you're saying, what did I believe? What do you think? Well, no, I know. What is the reason you think you want? I think folks really wanted someone who had a plan. Um, you know, one of the things that my campaign team uh, put out, we, they worked extremely hard. Uh, we went door to door and we pretty much articulated a plan that folks can get behind. I think the previous administration that was in the current seat that I'm now going to represent, they didn't quite have a plan in place that folks can actually believe in. So we wanted to make sure that we were going to come across as someone who can deliver on a promise that we made to that community. And one thing that I always told folks when I, when I knock on the door, they said, well, what's the one thing you can promise me? I, I, I promise you I'll be your voice. I promise I will advocate for some of the things that you want to see done. I can't guarantee you that I'm going to get everything that you want done. But some things may be out of the realm of possibility that I can deliver. But what I can guarantee is that I will be your voice and I will be that servant that you elected me to be. But on, on top of that, I think folks was able to really connect with someone who had a desire to change something about their community. Someone who had the passion, who actually went through a few things in his own life. You know, it wasn't an easy road growing up in, in, in the Franklin community. That's the reality. You know, we had our share of loss, and we had our share of, you know, hard times, if you will. But we were able to continue to move forward. And folks seeing that I was willing to continue to move forward, regardless of the outcome of this election, Jason Bob is still going to be around. Jason Bob is going to be working for some time. I have a follow up question to ask. You say your, your main qualification is that your desire, your passion for what you want to do. But uh, what do you bring to the job? What specific skills are you bringing to the job? Because one urgent need in the Islamic community is education. We know that. It's probably uh, crime and well we have so many other issues but, but the top of the agenda education is we have a person right now running for office in the field who has taken education as his number one issue to change that in the city. So he believes that there are too many illiterate Philadelphians and he wants to change that. So what what do you bring to this job that will give us hope that you can change that? Well, there's a few things. Let me, let me go back and kind of uh, talk about education for a moment. Uh, I am a father. I have a 10 year old son. Uh, my 10 year old son started off in the public uh, education system up until the second, second grade. I decided, along with his mother, to make a conscious decision that we wanted to move our son out of the public education system due to the fact that we didn't believe he was receiving an adequate education. So we decided to move to our local Quaker school that's in two blocks away from our home, which we have to pay. It's a private institution. But I say that because I believe every child should be given the right of a great education. It's a constitution that we have in the state of Pennsylvania that all children should receive an adequate education. However, that's not being delivered today in our school system. So I would I would want to actually, like I've, I've stated before, I'm be a strong advocate to ensure that all of our schools are up to the same level of uh, the Frankfurt Frame School that I currently have that my son attends because I believe all kids deserve that education. In terms of qualification, and a few things that I think I bring to the table, uh, one of the things I am an expert in terms of community development. Uh, one of the things I did for the council when I started off at entry level and I worked my way through every particular role in her office. So I started off the ground as answering phones, consistent service. Make sure folks had someone that was going to return their phone calls, someone was going to be courteous on the line, someone was going to answer their questions. Moved from that position, I went to become our recreation liaison, which I was responsible to develop. We did over, uh, I want to say, somewhere between the ballpark of eight to ten million dollars in development around recreation parks and libraries. All of which I was responsible to pretty much come up with a plan, identify a GC, identify an architect sit with those individuals, design a plan with the community that the community wants to see in that community and actually see that project mission. <coughs> that is something that I developed through her office for about two, two, three years. 
And I transitioned out of that and then come into her small business and zoning uh, representative that pretty much went through all the zoning cases, dealt with all these small business owners on all of our corridors to ensure that they were receiving the best service from our city departments and make sure that if they had any problems in terms of violations or any other service that may have been a, a, a nuisance to them, I made sure that I was the go-between to ensure that they received that service. Especially when it came to um, language access. A lot of the folks that come into our office do not speak the language uh, English. And they go to some of these city departments, they don't have any representatives there that can actually articulate what the issues currently are that they need to fill in order to move forward. I was able to kind of talk with some of those folks and sometimes bring a translator. Because sometimes I can't understand all the actual um, pronunciation of the language myself. Working in our office over the years, I pick up I picked up a lot of the language. I can't speak it fluently, and I, like I explained earlier, I will continue to try to strive to speak it fluently. But one of the things I was able to do is connect to another part of the actual district through the fact I was one of the first members of the Philadelphia Partnership Initiative, which was a Latino or organized uh, based organization that dealt with leadership skills, dealt with how do you actually make better citizens for us in Philadelphia. I was the first one to talk to as an African American. I went on to become their president. So I had certain qualifications that allowed me to cross over to the other um, nationalities within this district that I could actually relate to. I understand some of the issues that are faced with some of the folks in the actual uh, Latino community in terms of access to the birth certificates. Where a lot of folks who changed laws and folks who required to get their original birth certificate, they didn't have an option to know how to go about that. Also, when it comes to some of the folks who go to the cash checking uh, places in our district, because they don't know how to set up a bank account, because they don't know how to speak the actual language when they go into some of these branches. These are just some of the things I know I bring to the neighborhood. I can identify problems and come up with solutions to those problems, such as place space for children. That's one of the key things in this particular district that we're in. In the Ali section, we do not have enough place areas for children. If you ride through any of the streets, coming from 5th and in the boulevard to 5th and Champ Balls, I can tell you right now, there's no parks. You have schools, they have their playgrounds blocked off from the public after school hours. So they have no access. So children are forced to play in the streets. That's something that's going to change. We have churches, the church right across the street is, sh is shut down. It's a beautiful church, has a beautiful gymnasium, but it's not being in use. So we're now partnering with the PAL to see if we can get that gymnasium rented out and open that back up to the community. So my qualifications in this particular um, job set that I'm in now, I believe I'm more than qualified. I believe I have a lot of room to grow, which I intend to do by working with other community leaders in this community to determine or identify the issue they want to see uh, addressed and make sure that I'm going to be one held accountable to make sure we send you to this final place.